With its elegant strikes and bamboo swords, Kendo might seem better suited for the dojo than the mean streets. However, in this video, we're about to unveil the secrets that make Kendo surprisingly effective in a street fight. Origins To understand Kendo's effectiveness in a street fight, it's essential to explore its history. Kendo's roots trace back to Japan's samurai warriors, where swordsmanship was vital for self-defense and battle field combat. Over centuries, kendo evolved from these practical martial techniques into a modern sport. The term kendo itself can be broken down. Ken means sword and do means the way or path. So kendo translates to the way of the sword. It combines bamboo swords, shinai, and protective armor, bogu, to allow practitioners to safely engage in full contact sparring. While kendo has its sporting aspect, it retains many elements of traditional martial arts, including discipline, etiquette, and a deep respect for the art's history. This combination of practicality and tradition makes kendo a unique martial art with the potential for practice practical self-defense. Throughout its evolution, Kendo has preserved the fundamental principles of Japanese Bushido or the way of the warrior. This includes values such as integrity, respect, and honor, which are deeply ingrained in Kendo's philosophy. Practitioners not only learn to wield a sword effectively, but also to uphold these moral standards. Benefits Kendo offers a wide range of benefits beyond self-defense. It fosters physical fitness, agility, and cardiovascular health. Kendo practitioners develop mental fortitude, discipline, and the ability to remain calm under pressure. Physically, Kendo's rigorous training regimen promotes strength, endurance, and flexibility. The repetitive strikes and footwork develop muscle memory and enhance hand-eye coordination, making practitioners physically prepared for combat situations. Mentally, Kendo cultivates qualities such as concentration, focus, and resilience. Practitioners learn to maintain composure in the face of adversity, a skill invaluable during confrontations on the street. Kendo also instills a sense of responsibility and respect for one's training partners and opponents, fostering a positive mindset and ethical values. Moreover, Kendo encourages a strong sense of camaraderie among practitioners. The dojo becomes a place where individuals support each other in pursuing martial excellence, creating a supportive community beyond the practice sessions. Advantages Kendo's strength is its focus on precise and controlled strikes using the shinai, a bamboo sword. Practitioners learn to strike quickly and accurately while maintaining balance and composure. This precision can be invaluable in a street fight where quick, accurate strikes can incapacitate an opponent swiftly and decisively. One of Kendo's notable strengths is its emphasis on developing excellent posture and effectively using the body's core muscles. Kendo also hones an individual's ability to read an opponent's movements and intentions. This skill is essential for anticipating and countering a attacks effectively, enhancing a practitioner's situational awareness in a street fight. Furthermore, Kendo's rigorous training includes sparring or keiko where practitioners engage in controlled, full-contact matches. This experience simulates the intensity and pressure of actual combat, preparing kendo practitioners to react effectively when facing an aggressive opponent on the street. Weaknesses Despite its strengths, kendo has limitations that must be acknowledged. Kendo is primarily a sport and martial art rather than a comprehensive self-defense system. It may cover only some aspects of self-defense needed for street fights. Kendo techniques are designed for controlled sparring with specific rules, including scoring zones and target areas. These rules may not apply to real-world situations where there are no referees or regulations. Consequently, kendo practitioners may not be adequately prepared to handle unexpected tactics or weapons used by their assailants. Another limitation of Kendo is that it primarily focuses on one-on-one -on -one combat scenarios. It may not adequately address scenarios involving multiple attackers where evasion, escape, or alternative self-defense techniques are crucial. Additionally, Kendo's emphasis on striking with the Shinai may not be suitable for situations where other self-defense techniques such as grappling, joint locks, or escapes are needed. 
Street fights can be chaotic and unpredictable, often involving close quarters combat, where traditional kendo techniques may not apply directly. Kendo practitioners are also accustomed to wearing protective armor during sparring, which may create a false sense of security in a street fight without such protection. The absence of protective gear can significantly change the dynamics of a confrontation, requiring practitioners to adapt their techniques and mindset accordingly. Techniques Kendo techniques focus on strikes with the shine, targeting specific body areas such as the head, wrists, and torso. These strikes are executed with precision and speed. Some common techniques include 1. Men A strike to the opponent's head, typically delivered with a one-handed swing of the shine. 2. Kote A strike to the wrist or forearm, often used to disarm an opponent. 3. Do A strike to the torso or abdomen, which can be a decisive blow when executed accurately. 4. Tsuki A thrusting strike aimed at the throat. 5. Hikiwaza Techniques involving footwork to create distance before striking, used for tactical advantage. When practiced rigorously, these techniques develop the ability to strike with speed and precision, making kendo practitioners adept at targeting vulnerable areas in a real confrontation. Kendo's emphasis on proper posture, footwork, and striking technique ensures that practitioners can execute these techniques effectively and efficiently. To help practitioners, Kendo's training involves Kirikashi, a form of repetitive strikes to develop muscle memory and endurance. This conditioning helps practitioners maintain accuracy and power throughout a confrontation, which is critical in a street fight where every strike must count. Now let's address the crucial question, is Kendo effective in a street fight? The the answer is broad and depends on several factors, including the practitioner's skill level, adaptability, and the specific situation. Kendo's emphasis on precise strikes and quick reactions can be highly effective in a street fight. A well-trained kendo practitioner can deliver accurate blows to an opponent's head, wrists, or torso, quickly incapacitating them. The discipline and mental focus developed in kendo can help individuals remain calm under pressure. Kendo's training also prepares practitioners for the intensity of combat. The full contact sparring and repetitive drills create a mindset of readiness and alertness, allowing kendo practitioners to react effectively to unexpected threats. However, kendo does have limitations. It primarily focuses on one-on-one -on -one combat and may not cover scenarios involving multiple attackers or weapons. Ultimately, kendo can be a valuable addition to an individual's self-defense skill set when combined with other martial arts or self-defense training. Mastery of any martial art takes dedication, practice, and adaptability. To maximize its effectiveness in street fights, kendo practitioners should supplement their training with a comprehensive understanding of real-world self-defense strategies and situational awareness. That's all for today's episode, folks. If you enjoyed watching, leave a like and share it with your friends. You can also comment and let us know what you'd like to see from this channel in the future. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. You'll want to check out our other videos. Stay tuned for more awesomeness. Thanks for watching.